Hi guys, this is Aaron, and welcome back to another video of Bluebeam. Right, so today we are going to be talking about spaces, right, the feature called spaces. So spaces can be found on your left hand toolbar in this icon here, where you'll see spaces. Right, so there are different ways in spaces in which it can be used. Uh, basically, it can be used to um, so-called group uh, comments, group markups, or group measurements together, right, in, a, in, a, in, in different ways. Right, so let's take uh, one item for example. So the first thing I'm going to do right now, I'm going to be using the visual search feature that allows me to search for multiple items uh, of the same type within one PDF or multiple PDF pages. Right, so after searching through everything, um, from this document, I should be getting about 38 of them. Right, so after running through uh, this visual search, you can see on my uh, bottom left hand corner, all the different items which are highlighted on my screen on the right. All right, so this is this can be you checking through the individual items. Now, once you have checked and confirmed for all, I can actually make use of this uh, counting feature. Right, if you have a tool set done up for your count items already, even better. Right, you can just select uh, them from your from your two chairs and just uh, measure them off. Now, if not, you can just use one of the default ones and you can see that overall from my markups list, I have a total of 38 number of them. Right, so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to do a space, right? So I'm going to create three very uh, generic spaces. So let's say I put phase one, followed by phase two, and finally phase three. Now, so if you have been looking at the bottom of the markups list, you will see that now, across the total of 38, it is now automatically uh, grouped up for me into which phase has how many. Alright, so this is what spaces can do. Uh, you could po possibly use it uh, to segregate um, your, your items that are meant to be delivered in phases. Right, that could be one uh, use of the space. Right, so now on to the second portion. Now what you see over here, all these are all, uh, when I drag out the entire space, that is a big space, right, with no specific um, area. Right, now you can actually choose to manually uh, draw out the space yourself as well. All right, so let's say for example, if I were to do up this room, okay, much, much like how you would do uh, off an actual room, okay, I can actually just click through all these points here. this point finish up so let's say for example what's the room name here so I can say room 1262 right so you can also choose to create them uh, for yourself like this right and I, and I could put uh, different items instead of doing a measurement uh, for example if I'm running through uh, like uh, sidewalk right to identify defects right you see on my left hand side here uh, I've created a list of different issues, right? I will cover this in a separate video. But let's say, for example, there's a mechanical grid that needs to be wiped down, there needs to be a ceiling grid that needs to be cleaned, so on and so forth, right? So from there, uh, you can see that it also attaches itself, you see, for the markups that you have done to that room, right? And finally, the last pointer is that for those who are working uh, on Revit, right, and you are familiar with Revit rooms. And if you have the Blue Bin Review CAD version or higher, uh, you will be able to actually export uh, your Revit rooms directly recognized into spaces when you export it into a Blue Bin PDF. Right? So that will save you time uh, creating all the spaces one by one. Right? So that's all for the video. I hope this, this has helped you out. Thank you.